Fourth belief, fourth belief. We've got to believe that we can overcome challenges because as we know, this sea of change that's going out on out there in education is not smooth waters. There's a lot of rough waters out there. You know, we are really ending an era. We're ending the era, era of the Kansas State assessments, which quite frankly, as you know, we've just kind of blown the top of those, uh, off, the, off of those for years. And we're entering this, you know, Kansas college and career readiness era. Um, some people call that the common core. Standards are, are, are being raised. The type of assessments that are going to be given are going to be very different. You know, teaching and learning is going to have to change um, the way that, that we embrace the things that we've done for so long. That's one of the challenges that, that we're going to have to, to, uh, to be able to overcome. Secondly, we continue to have budget issues, quite frankly. I'm not going to dwell on this, but unfortunately, uh, the revenue from the state of Kansas that flows towards education continues to either maintain or decline. And it's very, very difficult to continue to operate a high-performing school district like we are when you have the budget limits and the budget constraints that we have. In addition, there's a lawsuit out there that no one really knows what the final result of that's going to be, whether the Supreme Court this fall will uphold the district decision, district court decision or not. But whatever they do, then the legislature has to decide what are they going to do with that ruling. And that's a challenge for us. That's, that's a huge challenge. But we have got to believe that we can overcome those challenges. I'm going to show you a short video here of a student overcoming a challenge that hopefully will help motivate us as we encounter and embrace those challenges that we have. The high fives, smiles in the hallway, the simple, how's it going? All small gestures that go a long way in developing relationships with students. It's part of the culture in Blue Valley and it made a difference in the life of a Blue Valley Northwest student. Both my parents are like drug addicts but I moved out when I was 12 years old. When I was living at friends' houses, um, I lived in a car for about a year. I lived in hotels. For 2013, Blue Valley Northwest graduate Blake Mann, growing up was not an easy journey until a Northwest family stepped in. So the Avery's kind of said, like, look, if you move in, we can get you to go to, to Blue Valley Northwest. And so after, I mean, probably a week, I moved into their house. And it is awesome. It's been awesome so far. And the Avery's were just the beginning of the family Blake would find in the Northwest community. Students and staff do a wonderful job of identifying, you know, students, okay, this is not necessarily a Blue Valley kid. Let's make sure that, you know, he is adjusting well and the transition is going well for him. That's kind of Northwest MO. <laughs> you know, we, we go a little above and beyond. You know, and I know the other high schools do as well, and our whole district does, so. Um, I don't think he is quite used to that. I mean, I, I, I really feel like that people at Northwest or even teachers at Northwest like really care about you. And I mean, that was a different, it was like a culture shock for me. And that culture of caring and support made Northwest a home. Um, Mr. Pearl, I mean, I could literally go up and talk to him about anything. Uh, Coach Serbo, he was uh, he, like, I almost felt like he was my dad. You, after you've done this for quite a while, you can kind of tell which kids you know, need a little bit more of influence than others. You know, and I, I knew what his, his background was, and he just needed a little bit more someone to lean on. With the support of his Northwest family and his own determination, Blake will make it. If I were to describe him in one word, it would be resilient. He can fight through adversity, and it doesn't matter what it is. He, he, he'll find a way to come out on top. I mean, coming to Northwest, I mean, there's so many people that just instantly, I felt like care. I mean, and I truly believe they do care. And I'm very thankful for all the people that have walked in my life that made a difference. You know, Blake's a good kid that took control of his destiny. You know, he had a school family that obviously helped him get there. I'm happy to share that Blake's headed to Missouri State, going to major in biology and pre-med, and he's going to play football for the Bears. You 
know, I think what we do here in Blue Valley for Kids is absolutely incredible because of the relationships that are such a priority for us. Um, and I just encourage you for the third time to continue to build those relationships because they're so important.